Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Bernie here. In today's video, I want to show you a tool in the Final Cut Pro 10.8 timeline that is definitely helpful and did not exist before. Although huh, it was introduced in the 10.7 version of Final Cut Pro, Apple only added the automatic timeline scrolling toggle in the 10.8 update. So what is it? I found out about this helpful timeline tool when I was editing the other day for my next video upload. Upon checking, I discovered it's the automatic timeline scrolling toggle switch. And as you can see here, when I hover over it, it says toggle for continuous scrolling for the timeline during playback. It's a very neat feature and it's now easier to switch it on or off. You can go to the view and then scroll down and look for timeline scrolling. Click it or hit option plus shift plus s on your keyboard to enable or disable it but why would i do that if i already have this helpful toggle icon on the timeline so how does it work it is so simple and straightforward just uh, click anywhere on the timeline and press the space bar to play the video clips on the timeline and as you notice here the playhead moves to the right when you go to the right hand side of the timeline and click this automatic scrolling icon you will notice that the video clips in the timeline move as well neat huh as mentioned this feature was introduced in the 10.7 update and before the 10.8 update you could find the settings under final cut pro then settings or just press command comma to get to the settings quickly once there go to playback then select scroll timeline continuously during playback but in the 10.8 update it was no longer there and was moved to view and the timeline scrolling i think this is way easier than in the previous version the main point of this feature is to help the editor stay focused on the edit by keeping the clips in view under the playhead during playback you know before i wasn't a fan of this but as i continued editing with this feature on i found it to be really helpful rather than scrolling manually all the time. And to summarize, there's now a dedicated toggle switch at your fingertips to switch the automatic scrolling feature on or off. You know, some definitely like it, some don't. So, where do you stand? This is Bernie, thanks for watching, and goodbye for now.